Okay, hello, how's everybody doing today? This is a training tutorial video on how to fill out the cash offer form along with sending out the DocuSign agreement. So let's go through this. So of course you wanna fill in the blanks here. I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, test in the fields here. Uh, what is the best number to call you back? You'll just type in the phone number of the homeowner, uh, type in their email address, whatever it may be. All right, and then type in the property address. Just type in some ones here. And, or we don't sell to Alaska, California. All right. And lowest asking price. So um, you'll notice in the script, you're going to ask them if you are able to meet their timeline and you could close with a full cash price where the homeowner would not have to worry about coming up with any closing costs or any expenses for repairs. What would be the absolute lowest asking price? So we go into detail in the script uh, on this here, but let's go ahead and just put down uh, 200000 just to fill in the blanks. And then you'll ask them, uh, what's the main reason why you're selling, Mr. Homeowner? And they'll tell you what it, whatever it is, foreclosure, divorce. You'll just check the boxes there. Uh, what year was the house built? You're already going to know that. Um, we show you in PropStream uh, how to see the what year the house was built of the subject property. So let's say it was built in 1980 as an example. How many bedrooms and baths? Again, you have all this information. Um, as soon as you ask the customer for their home address, you're able to see all of this in PropStream. Okay, so you just want to verify it with them. Square footage of the house, again, you're already going to know that. So let's say it's 1,500 square feet. Again, you'll just verify that with the customer, whatever the square foot is. Here, you're going to ask them about the property condition. Are there any repairs that need to be done to the house that we should know about? For example, roof repairs, leaks, drywall damage, paint, um, you know, plumbing, AC, whatever, whatever, you know, fire, storm damage, whatever the problem may be. So we'll just put down roof, roof leak and needs painting. All right. So here you're asking them any liens, permit issues, code violations. If there's none, you'll just type in NA for not applicable. Um, have you done any upgrades to the home? Let's say they say, yeah, I got uh, granite countertops and you can type that in um, let's say they have uh, like upgraded appliances stainless steel refrigerator things like that you'll just type that in stainless steel fridge upgraded appliances all right so just type that in like that all right, that looks good. And then here, what type of flooring in the kitchen, baths, hallways? So is it linoleum, hardwood floor, carpeting, etc.? So you'll just type that in, hardwood floors in the kitchen and hallways. And then you might type in carpeting in the bedrooms. Okay, just like that. All right, so that looks good. What type of condition are the kitchen countertops in? Granite, laminate, good condition, fair, uh, needs replacing. Okay, so we'll type in, let's say good. What type of condition are the carpets in? Let's say we'll just type in fair. What type of condition is the tile in? We'll type in fair. Uh, what type of condition are the walls in? We'll just type in good. Uh, what is the age of the roof? How old? Let's type in, let's say it's 20 years old as, as an example. Are you current on your mortgage payment? Uh, let's say they say yes. Uh, how much do you still owe on the mortgage? Uh, you could, let's say they say it's paid off. So you'll just type in, you know, paid off or zero. Um, is the home listed on the MLS? How long on the market? Let's say no, it's not listed on the MLS. Who lives in the property now? Um, you could just put, uh, you know, vacant or, or, or whatever the, uh, homeowner says either the owner lives there uh, or they have renters or, or whatever the case is so just type in whatever it is whether they have renters or if it's vacant or owner occupied okay how quickly do you need to sell the house you know let's say they say as soon as possible or within the next month or you know whatever they say just type it in there ASAP next month now here you do not want to share this info with the homeowner okay so let's go through this we need these four fields filled in very important the ARV is the dollar amount that we will sell the property 
after we fix it up. Okay. Always run the comps going down 100 square feet up and 100 square feet down against the subject property square footage. Uh, same number of bedrooms and bathrooms that have been sold within the last year. Also make sure the comps are within the two mile radius. That's going to give you the ARV. So we showed you how to do this in detail in the prop stream and cheat sheet training video. So if you haven't seen that video as of yet, um, you should go back and watch that. All right, so let's put, let's say the ARV is 150,000 as an example. Um, here, the repair amount. Again, please use the cheat sheet to determine the cost of the repairs based on the square footage. If the repairs are light, average, or heavy. Again, we showed you this in the previous prop stream uh, training video. So uh, let's go ahead and put, uh, let's say, 10,000 on the repairs. Wholesale fee, you do not want to mention the wholesale fee to the homeowner. That should never be mentioned ever, ever. Okay. It should be either 20,000, 15,000, 10 or 5,000 based on the property ARV. Again, we showed you that in the previous video on how to charge the wholesale fee based on the value of the home and the, and the ARV. Okay. The higher the wholesale fee, the more commission you're going to make. So let's go ahead and put down 10,000 on the wholesale fee. Now the MAO is the maximum allowable offer. That's once you've subtracted 30% for closing cost fees and carrying costs. The way you do that is you simply take the ARV times 0.7, and then you're going to subtract the cost of the repairs and the wholesale fee. This is going to give you the maximum allowable offer, the MAO. Again, we showed you all of this in the previous video, okay, in the prop stream and cheat sheet training video. So if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that, all right? So let's just say for argument's sake, the uh, MAO is $90,000, all right? So now that you've got all that filled in, we want to go to the close. Now, you want to go to the DocuSign form. Now, you're going to need to email or text this link to the homeowner, which is right here, okay? So you simply want to just copy and paste it. So we're going to go ahead and you're going to email this link to the customer or you're going to text it to the customer. So once you do that, I'm going to show you guys exactly what the customer is going to see. They're going to come to this screen right here. So you want to do it at the same time, even though um, they need to fill this in. You're not able to fill this in. Okay. Everyone's on this master power power form uh, URL. Okay. Okay. So let's say uh, the customer, we're going to type, or I'm sorry, they're going to type in their name. So you're going to walk them through this. We show you this in the script word for word as to what to tell the customer. You're going to say, okay, Mr. Customer, you got the link. Okay, great. So you should see, it should say power form signer information. You want to confirm that with the customer, with the homeowner. Okay. Make sure they're looking at this. Once they confirm, yeah, I see it. It says power form signer info. Great. You see where it says seller? That's where your name is going to go, Mr. Customer. So you tell them to type in their name there. Then you're going to tell them to type in their email address. Okay. So we'll just type in test at gmail.com, whatever they're, I'm sorry, they're going to type all of this in, not to confuse. OK, so make sure you have them type in their name, their email address. Now, very important, scroll down a little more and you have to have them type in our information because not only is our information going to go into the contract, which I'm going to show you on the next screen, but we're also going to get a copy of it. So they're going to get a copy and we're going to get a copy. OK, and then once we sign, it'll go back to the homeowner. OK, but let's go step by step. So again, you've told the customer to fill in their name and fill in their email address so they get a copy of this agreement. Now here where it says this is us, the buyer. OK, so you're going to have the customer again. You you're not going to be typing this in not to get confused what I'm saying. You're going to have the customer type in hometown buyers club because whatever goes in here is going to appear in the contract on the next screen which you'll see in a moment. Okay. Now for our email, you want to have the customer type offers at hometown buyers club.com. So this is where a lot of people get confused. Just to recap what we've gone over so far, you're going to email the homeowner, the power form sign power form signer link, the URL, which is up here. Okay. Now you're looking at this and they're looking at it. Okay. You're going to have the customer fill in their name, fill in their email address. So they get a copy. Make sure you let them know that tell the customer, the homeowner. Okay. Now scroll down a little more. You're going to type in our information because this will appear in the agreement and we'll get a copy as well. So you're going to say, okay, Mr. Customer, make sure to type in hometown buyers club, just like you see it there where it says buyer. 
okay and type in our email address so again we get a copy of this offers at hometownbuyersclub.com so once you've confirmed that the customer has filled this in you're going to tell them to click begin signing so you're going to do it at the same time just so you could see what's going on all right so you'll click that button there okay and you'll see here it comes up you put a check mark there and hit continue all right so this is the real estate purchase and sale agreement okay so you'll notice there it automatically puts the customers information here their name is there our name is already here okay if you scroll down just a two-page agreement if you scroll down here you'll notice their name is there and our name is automatically populated there nice and organized the dates automatically going to be there okay so you want to have the customer fill in this information and again we walk you through this step by step inside the script so you're going to say okay mr customer go ahead and type in the date in the fields right there so you'll type in 22nd day of august and you'll have them type in the year again they're typing all of this in i'm just doing it here with you guys so you see how to walk the customer through this Okay, we've got the date in there. Their name is automatically populated there. So you're going to say, okay, now, Mr. Customer, go ahead and type in your property address. Okay, whatever that is, 123 Main Street. Okay, and the city, the state, and the zip code. Okay, make sure you have them type everything in. City, state, and zip. You want to confirm it with them. Make sure, okay, Mr. Customer, make sure you have your full address in there. All right, so you'll scroll down right here. You're going to go through this with them. Okay, if they have any questions, you know, you can answer it for them, but it's, it's a real simple, simple two-page agreement. So here, the seller agrees to convey property to the buyer for the sum of, let's say you agreed on 200000 okay? There's an earnest money deposit of $500, which we're going to go ahead and put up. Let the customer know they get that back at closing. So you're going to tell them to type in, assuming that the purchase price of the home is 200000 that's what you agreed on, that's the MAO, the maximum allowable offer. Okay, we're assuming the MAO is 200,000. There's a $500 earnest money deposit, which the customer, the homeowner will get back at closing. And that leaves us with 199,500, okay? Total sales price, cash. So make sure they understand they're getting the 199,500 plus the $500 earnest money deposit. They get that back at closing, okay? So we just keep scrolling down. You're gonna tell the customer real simple, click initial on the first page and then scroll down a little more and they're going to click signature and they're going to sign that they're going to initial here all right so once they initial there they're going to scroll down a little more and click finish as soon as they click finish all parties will get a copy of the agreement okay the homeowner will get their copy and we will get our copy. Once we receive our copy of this agreement, we're gonna go ahead and and sign off on it. We're signature here, date, and then it will go back to the customer one more time. So it just goes back and forth three times, but uh, just let the customer know once they fill this in, once they initial and sign, we're gonna go ahead and sign off and they're gonna get a copy of it. All right, so that concludes the training video on how to fill out the offer form okay once you do that of course you want to click submit cash offer form so we get a copy of this all right and then we can go ahead and submit all of the paperwork to the title company for closing all right and then of course you get paid your big commission so um, we all uh, we hope you guys have an extremely profitable day and let's all have a profitable year if you have any questions please give us a call thanks we'll talk to you soon